So guys, welcome to section one. And this is all about the workflows and apps that you have used in the past. Now, we typically say that when you have a bad experience with an application, it tells you what you've learned about yourself. It's sort of like having a job. You know, like if you go for a job and you don't like it, at least you know what you don't want to do for the future. And I think that's very similar with to-do list applications. So we're gonna do two exercises here and you'll find all of the resources below. The first exercise is to capture your entire workflow. So we're gonna look at all the tools in your system here and we're gonna see how it interacts with your to-do list application. Now, maybe you use things like, for example, I use Todoist as my main to-do list application and I use Notion to help me plan, but we're literally just taking a snapshot of all of your tools because we think that's a valuable way to see your progress as we go through this. Now the second exercise is I would say more important to the next section that we have and that is to capture all of the tools that you have used in the past. Now like the job analogy you will have bad experience with tools and we want you to evaluate that. So there is a list on the left-hand panel, you will see the name of the tool, and on the right-hand panel is where you will be adding your evaluation. Now, let's take an example. Let's just say TickTick. You've used TickTick in the past. Let's write out why you didn't get on with that application. Let's find out a few of the things that didn't work for your experience. Now, this will really help you when it comes to your next section, because what we're gonna do in the next section is actually look at your needs and the features that matter to you most. Which features match your suitability right now? So that we can match what, what, what hasn't worked to what's working and what needs to be working. So this exercise is not only a good activity for now, but it's also a way to help you drill down your solutions for later. Maybe these applications that you write on list with the evaluation are ones you really don't want to touch and will help you to knock down some of the options when it comes to picking our top three and moving forward with our trial. So please do use the two activities below. The first one to capture your workflow as a big picture. This is just useful for later. And the second activity to help you evaluate what applications worked for you in the past and evaluate why they didn't work for you in the past. So guys, I look forward to you joining us in the next section where we touch in and dig deeper in the needs and features that matter to you most.